Alright, welcome back everyone to Police Simulator. We're back here again today in Brighton City, and today we're going to do an evening shift over here starting off in the Brixton District in the pickup truck today. If you guys enjoy it, let's go ahead and see what we can find today. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that. This looks like it's going to be on the other side of the city too. I was perfectly fine with getting away from all those cars because it was starting to get a little tight in that area and all the cars were like stupidly loud as well. I was really tempted to pull one of them over for their <laughs> loud exhaust because I know that's something you can stop cars for in this, but in this game, but uh, that's alright. Alright, let's go ahead and cross in over here. I hate the stupid... Uh, GPS system because it's not really dependable. I know this is a one-way road, but we're going to go through it anyway. Really try not to pay attention to it, but it is helpful in some scenarios, most of which... Most scenarios, it's just really screwing with you. It'll tell you to go one way and then it changes its mind. That time, I think I actually should have turned right, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and turn right here. Should be here. Arriving on scene. Starting the investigation. Does appear to be some type of aggravated assault. But let's go ahead and run over here, make sure everybody's alright, get an ambulance en route. I have an injured person requesting an ambulance. It's three people, man. This This is insane. Freaking Goliath came through here. Hold on. I wanna recognize your face, cause Hi there. That's just really weird. Hey officer, how you doing? Leaving the scene of a crime. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't seem weird at all. Alright, let's get some securing poles. Seems like our EMS unit is arriving, so let's go ahead and get these bad boys out and let's secure this scene here. Alright, cool, here we go. Okay, what's going on? Can you hear me? I have some pain. Alright. Lock all oh, this off great. here. We need you to get to the ambulance anyway for further examination. Can you walk on your own? Yes. Try and block this off the that. best of my ability. Try and get all blue dots here. That's the goal. This is a big, big area to block off here. We want to make sure that we do it thoroughly, though, because we don't want anything to be messing up our crime scene here. We should be good with just that, and that is beautiful. Perfect. Okie doke. Let's go ahead and put these securing poles back, and let's get some evidence markers. That way we can uh, have everything we need. Don't have to come back to our truck. And let's go talk to some witnesses and see what happened here. We got four folks to talk to. Start with this guy, see what he saw. Let me know what you saw. Yeah, officer. I was there when it happened. Alright, that's all you got to say about it. Let's see your ID, man. Let me have a look at your ID, please. Yes, officer. There you go. Alright, ID's expired. Okay, I'm not really worried about the uh, expired ID. I could give him a ticket for it, but I'm more interested in just trying to figure out what happened. So we'll go ahead and let him go. We got his statement. Enjoy your day. Got his ID, so Let that is all Can good. I'm still in shock, but I'm all right. EMS is still handling everybody. Thankfully, it's not glitching. They're actually clearing everybody out, so that's good. Let's see what this lady has to say. Let me hear what you saw. Fortunately for you, officer, I witnessed the whole thing. Perfect. Let's get her ID. I'd like to see her ID, please. Here, officer. Okie doke. No gun permit, registration invalid, not really worried about that. But no warrants, which is good, so we'll go ahead and let her go. You're good to go. Bye. Perfect. And we just got these two folks to talk about. Then we can start looking for some evidence out here. I guess we're talking to this lady. Tell me what Scratch you saw. that. <laughs> yes, I saw what happened. Man, that is like the best statement I've gotten today. <laughs> yes, I saw what happened. Please show me. <laughs> and that's it. That's all that we got to say. 
sure, officer. You imagine you the go. report that the S officer wrote? Hey, she saw well, what happened, guys. If you guys were wondering, she saw everything, <laughs> but nothing, no context. Gotta love it. All right. Okay, no, no gun permits. Convicted of robbery. Blah blah blah. I don't really worry about any of that stuff. He's it's good fine. to go. Have a nice day. How you doing, officer? Gave us a statement, or she. Not, not a helpful statement, but a statement nonetheless. But can you describe what you saw? So we're good with her. Let's talk to this guy. Yeah, officer. I was there when it happened. All right, perfect. And let's Show get his ID. ID, please. Here it is. All right, and this guy is good to go as well. Perfect. Let all him right, go. And go. now the fun Enjoy part. Now we get to look for all the evidence on the ground. Sometimes this can be kind of finicky. Um, but we're going to do it. And hopefully we'll get everything like we need to. I immediately noticed this knife here. So we'll go ahead and mark this. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not a knife. That's a handgun. I saw like just like the little silver piece on top. And I thought it was the end of the blade. But that's actually a firearm. Right now that I can see the, the handle and everything. So... Good deal. So we got a handgun, so this was a pretty horrific scene, I would imagine. Um, so we got a couple things here as well. We'll go ahead and mark these. That'll be two, and that should be three. Perfect. Uh, so do we have anything else over here? Get the camera out here. Oops, I put it up. Get it back out, and let's keep looking here. Make sure we don't have anything else that I'm missing. Oh, looks like we do have something here. Let's go ahead and get this out. And let's mark that there. So that should be four. Let's get the camera out. Let's take pictures of all the evidence we got and see if we're missing anything. But this should be it, I would imagine. That is one. We got two. Three. And number four should be the final one to give us the full uh, progress bar. I've handled the crime scene and will now continue with my other duties. Perfect. Okie doke. So now we know who we're looking for. Uh, let's see. Miss Schmidt, age 23, orange shirt, red pants, and armed. Which we kind of figured that considering the scale of the attack that happened over here. So let's take a look at our mini map here. And whoops, I had it open. There we go. And so we are in the boatload area. She could literally be anywhere. I could be looking at it right now and you guys could be yelling at me for it so <laughs> but let's go ahead and we'll circulate the area just kind of look for anybody that might be acting suspicious maybe she'll take off running out in front of us like some of them usually do but let's circulate let's see if we can find this lady a few moments later well I guess the one person escaped I was literally looking around the area and I could not find her anywhere. I've been looking for a good 5-10 minutes now and nothing. This was literally right over here. Actually you can still see the, the tape over there. Um, where she was at and there's nobody. So that's where we're at and there's nobody here. I've, I've looked everywhere. So... I don't know, you guys look back on the video, see if I saw anything. Maybe I already cut it in the video and I've noticed it on the screen, but otherwise I hadn't seen it. So, But hey, you can't catch them all. Um, we do have the person's name and everything, so if we ever run across her, she has an open warrant out for her arrest. So any other officers will be able to look and see that as well. And, you know, she can run, but she can't hide. We'll find her eventually, but that is going to do it for that call. Let's go ahead and turn callouts back on and see what else we can find. I can already look right here in front of us until this guy is swaying his butt off. Let's go ahead and stop this guy. We have a traffic stop that needs to be handled. I'm going to decline sure. that. And let's talk to this guy because he is swaying like a mother trucker. No pun intended because he's driving a truck. <laughs> Alright, so no gun permit. Insurance status is invalid. So we'll definitely address that. But let's go talk to him about his swaying. 
How's it going, man? Reason for the stop today is you are swaying all over the road. You can't maintain your lanes. But also your registration's kind of out, so we're going to address that later. But the initial reason was for just the swaying and suspicious driving. Suspicious driving and uh, not a stop sign. There it is. Stop because there. it looked like you were having trouble driving in a straight line. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm sober and I'm driving perfectly fine. Oh, is that right? You're sober and driving perfectly fine? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to make sure of that. First, let's see your ID, Please man. show me your ID and vehicle insurance. Here you go. Assistance required. Is an officer available? Aggravate assault. That's tempting. I might take that. That's tempting. We'll I'm decline it. I'm currently busy with another issue. Let's disable it so we don't get tempted. Person slurring. Yeah, we got to take care of this. Please step out of the vehicle. I'll let this guy go. He's going to end up killing somebody. Alrighty, man. Let's go stay on the sidewalk and let's do a couple tests to make sure you're safe to drive today. Okie dokie. Let's do a couple tests on you, man. Kindly cooperate as I collect a sample to see if you're drunk. And he is under the influence. Look at that. See, now if I took that call and let him go, that would have been on me. Please allow me to he collect a somebody. sample to see if you're under the influence of any drugs. Definitely get him off the street. So we're gonna have us uh, some drunk drivers today. People driving drunk. All right. Well, we definitely got him for the DUI. Let me just go back in here and kind of recap everything. So we'll give him a ticket for the. Let's see. No, I don't think you can. You can just let's see. Can you give him a ticket for that? Sometimes I forget what we can and can't give tickets for. Let's just take a look in here. Uh, driving. You do it for ignoring a red light, speeding, ignoring a stop sign, driver. They should be able to. I should be able to give a, him a ticket for failure to maintain lanes. They need to add more charges on here for tickets, because that's kind of limited, to be honest. Okie doke. Uh, let's see. So we're going to charge him for the DUI alcohol. Um, and we'll give him a ticket for the registration. Uh, let's see, car, license plate, ticket. I have to handcuff you. So many citations? I didn't know that all those actions were illegal. Oh, uh, well, they are. That's, that's on you for being stupid and not knowing the laws. Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. So we'll go ahead and search the car, see what we can find in here. Chocolate. Interesting. Check the back seat and we found an illegal item. Perfect. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Switchblade. Shocker there. That's pretty common to be honest. Can we not search the trunk here? Why can't I search the trunk? That was weird. I guess it was just the way I was standing. A letter. Okay. Alright, well let's check this side of the vehicle get these two compartments and we should be good to go here ah uh, see the door slammed shut that's typically a scenario where the guy would take off running if he wasn't handcuffed and I would have to chase him but he's handcuffed so I don't know why the game does this it's done this in the past like the guy's handcuff game don't be slamming the door let me see what's in there see now we can look at it and he shut the door it shut the door because of the switchblade and he would have took off running that's dumb they need to fix that all right let's get the back seat we're already going to charge him for a switchblade that he had nothing there okay let's tack on the switchblade real quick you're under arrest for carrying a switchblade with you please don't do that uh, you did it yourself, man. Let's call a tow truck, and we'll call I a transport a unit. Here for towing. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? A wrecker will be there in a couple of minutes. Perfect. All right, and we'll go ahead and get a transport unit out here for him. I need backup to take a subject into custody. Understood. The closest available unit will be dispatched to your location. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to move my truck. That way this tow truck can do its thing. This responding unit can come pick this guy up. Once everything clears out, we'll jump back on patrol, and we'll see what else we can find. Oh yeah, that guy's smoking bad. That, guy, that guy's car is about to blow up, man. 
Yeah, we Oh, dude, you're going to freaking get killed. Oh, I'm about to run into this guy. Oh, that was close. Too busy looking at that guy that was about to get run over. Jeez, all kinds of chaos happening. I'm about to make deadly mistakes and run into this guy. Robbery. Yeah, I'll take that. Since we lost that guy before, um, you can, or I guess it was a female. We lost that female before, so she got away. But let's talk to this guy real quick. This won't take long. We're just talking to him about his smoking tailpipe here. I have to detain you for driving with a smoking exhaust. I think it looks cool. I'm sorry, officer. <laughs> you think it looks cool that your car's blowing up? Whatever. ID and vehicle insurance card, please. Everything checks out, man. I'll let you go, you but go. you got to get that fixed. All right, let's see what he's got here. No gun permit. Everything looks good. License is good. Vehicle is good. Everything seems to be in date there. He's avoiding eye contact. Uh, why you got to be acting weird, dude? Why you got to be acting weird? All right, everything checks out there. All right, well, he's not making eye contact. I'm going to let him go. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Everything checks out. I'm not going to give him a hard time because we got this crime scene to get to. So let's go ahead and jump in the truck, and let's head to this. 1,600 meters away. We got not a lot of time to spare here. Should be up here on the right. We've made it from Brixton all the way downtown, so... Let's see, where's this thing gonna be at? Down here in this alley, I suppose. Alright, well, let's go see what's going on here. I'm gonna go ahead and get my securing poles here. We can get the scene ready to go. I've arrived at the robbery scene. I'll take care of it. Oh, actually, I don't think I'm going to need securing poles for this. This isn't like a regular crime scene. This is like the old school crime scenes where, yeah, I'm not going to need the securing poles. All right, so I'll put those up. Uh, cool. Let's go ahead and start investigating. We just got to talk to these guys and see what's going on. Can you tell me what you saw? Yes, officer. I even know the person. Doki, you already even know the person. Show me your ID, please. I'll right. manage it. Location and we'll start looking I wish the other crime the scenes were... Oh my god, would y'all shut up! I'm taking care of another issue at the moment. Too many people talking at once, man. I wish the other crime scene was kind of like this, where I could literally get the information from one person. Like, hey, I know the person. I know who this is, or this is what he looked like. Give me some details, you know? This is perfect. All right, invalid insurance. Not worried about any of that. We'll give him his ID back. All right, you're free to go. Enjoy your day. That's where these old crime scenes did a better job than the new ones. So let's keep talking. Let's see if we can get some more details on this Let guy. Let me know what you saw. The person was, I'm pretty sure, Asian. Asian. Okay, so we got ethnicity. I'd like to see your ID, please. See, that dialogue is amazing. Of course, officer. Here's my ID. And it's all... You know, meshing together very good. We got his ID. The person on the left there is Asian, and she said, I think he was Asian, so that's adding up. Making all the evidence align, which is perfect. He's avoiding eye contact, not really worried about it. Uh, I kind of am Please worried about it, actually. I want to search, procedure. just to make sure you don't have weapons on on you. I don't want to, I don't want to die today. Local laundry bill. Okay, well, you're good to go. You're good to go. Bye. We'll go talk to this last guy over here. Tell me what you saw. I'm sure the person was male. Okay, well, that helps me. <laughs> but if that was the only or only uh, witness, that'd be kind of hard to nail down what dude. Kind of incriminating yourself by just saying, "I'm pretty sure it was a dude." Please show me your ID. Sure, officer. Here you go. Alright. Everything checks out there. Perfect. Smell alcohol, not really worried have about a nice it. Day. Goodbye. Alright, so we have talked to everybody we can. Didn't really get much more information, but I do know that he's probably off in that direction. So I'm gonna run over here. We're gonna 
going to search everything kind of on foot here. Let me just make sure I'm running in the right direction, and I am. Perfect. So let's run over here, and let's start Hi, looking around for this guy, seeing if he's anywhere. Right? Is this guy? Is this guy him? That could be the wanted suspect. Yep, okay, so he's walking right up. Oh, there he is. He's running. Get on the ground. You were faster than I thought you would be. All right, man. You are so under arrest. So under arrest for aggravated assault. No, for robbery. See, I almost charged him for the wrong thing. <laughs> You're under arrest for robbery, man. I have to arrest you for robbery. It's against the law. Please, don't do that. All right, now let's go ahead and search you. Make sure you don't have any weapons on you. I have to search you. Kindly cooperate with me. Good job, officer. Let's take it now, clippers, cucumbers. Gosh, man, you got all kinds of crap on you. All right, well, let's get your ID just to make sure that it aligns with who we got as a target suspect here. Okay, let's take a looky-looky here, and he has the open warrant, so we can tack that on as well. Might as well get the extra points out of it. Ability reasons, background, open warrants. You've committed many prior. Oh, I didn't give me more points. Under arrest. I'm very sure that, that all sucks. these accusations won't hold up in court. Uh, yeah, they will though, because a judge approved the warrant. <laughs> so you're gonna be talking to a judge about it. Lord have mercy, these comments are so stupid. Let's get a transport. To take a subject into custody. We're a little too far to be uh, taking them over to the truck, so we'll call a transport for them. Wait for the transport unit to show up. We'll uh, jump back out on patrol, and we'll see what else we can find. There's a crime scene that just got called in. Please drive there and start the investigation. Got it. Heading to the crime scene. Dang, another crime scene. Literally just got off that call just to go back onto another one. City's going nuts, man. Okie dokie, let's head up here. Wasn't as far as the last one, but... Which is good. It seems to be a pretty much a straight shot. We are hauling ass, though. Slow down. Oh my gosh, the brakes on this truck stink. Let me do a freaking U-turn here. There we go. Dude, you freaking moron. Get out of the way. Are here. I'm on site, starting the investigation now. Go ahead and set up here. It doesn't look like we have any injuries, which is good, so it probably would just be some type of robbery. See a little ATM knocked over over there, so it probably is a robbery of that ATM, I'd imagine, but actually, do I already got securing poles? I think I might. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Yep, okay, I already have securing poles on me. So let's go ahead and get this secured. Got all this taped off here. And then we shall start our investigation. Alright, then just one last one all the way over here. Let's see, evidence markers, there we go. Very good, very good. Alright. Uh, let's see, should we mark the evidence first? Yeah, this is definitely an ATM robbery. Alright, let's start talking to some witnesses here. Let me know what you saw. Yeah, officer, I saw someone running towards the park, but I'm not sure if it has anything to do with the incident. Let's go ahead and get your ID. Let me have a look at your ID, please. Here it is. Fairly good. Let's take a look at this here. Expired ID, no gun permit. Not really worried about that. He's just a witness. Go ahead and let him All go. All right, you're free to go. Enjoy your day. 
All right, here's some more people just walking through the crime scene. Nothing. Yep, yep. Just come on ahead, man. Why don't you grab some cash on the ground while you're at it? I wish they'd fix that, man. People do not need to be just be walking around the crime scene. And if I tell them to leave, by God, they need to leave. Because look, as soon as I go and walk over here, let's see. Okay, you've crossed the tape, so technically you're in a crime scene. You don't need to be here. You have traffic orders. I should be able to tell her to evacuate the area. Please cooperate. Move to the sidewalk and wait there. Are you serious? You have no reason to ask me that. Yeah, I do actually, because you're in a crime scene. Thank you very much. Crime scene, do not cross. Can you read, you bitch? Anyway, I'm sorry. That annoys the shit out of me. Hopefully they'll fix it. Probably won't, though. Let's Tell go ahead and interview saw. this lady. Yes, yes. There was this person who just ran out of that store all of a sudden. Okay. Perfect. Let's get your ID. Your ID, please. Here you go, officer. God. She goes from sober to drunk, just like that. And no gun permit, nothing really to worry about there. Let's go ahead and give her um, back her ID. Have we'll nice let her day. go. Goodbye. Okie doke. Let's go ahead and interview this Can lady, see what she's got saw? to say. Sure, officer. I saw someone fleeing in that direction. Alright, let's get I your need ID. To see your ID, please. Here. Gah, so nice to so mean. Everyone's so wishy-washy today. She gave me somebody else's ID, too. Well, you're going to jail. Maybe if you weren't so mad and focused on what ID you were given, that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Golly, man. Stolen you're ID. Being arrested for carrying a stolen ID. Oh, come on. You must be kidding me. I'm not. Not kidding you in the slightest. All right, let's go ahead and search you. I have to search you. Kindly cooperate with me. I'd much rather you just give me your ID, cooperate. That way I can find the person that robbed this place. But no, you gotta make my life harder and focus on you now, wasting my time. All right, you got half an ounce of marijuana on you. Lovely. I'll escort you to the patrol car now. All right, we're gonna take you to the car. Have a seat Mind while we head. finish. All right, very good. Let's continue our investigation here. So we've talked to those two folks. We got three more here. We'll talk to this lady next. Let me know what you saw. Yeah, officer. I saw someone running towards the park, but I'm not sure if it has anything to do with the incident. The scene is we a robbery. I'm sure of it. Would you show me your ID, please? Where the suspect can be found. Yeah, sure, officer. All right, let's see what we got here. Go take a look at that ID real quick. And everything's good to go there as well. Yeah, most of fine. which... You're good to go. Bye. Most of which are good to go. Just about everybody has been good except for that one lady. But there is a lot of people here. This is insane. I think this is the most amount of people I've ever had in one crime scene. So let's talk to this lady and get these like to see your folks ID, done with. Because it's kind of rinse and repeat at this point. <sighs> Everyone says the same thing, or you just sigh like this lady does. <laughs> Alright. And she has an open warrant. No wonder she's so quiet. Got a warrant for domestic violence. Alright, well let's go ahead and charge her as well. Let's see, open I warrant. I have to arrest you for having an open warrant. You are making a big mistake, officer. Wait a minute. Did I make a mistake? Hold on a second. Maybe I made a mistake. It says an open warrant. Unless she gave me a fake ID, but you look just like the person. Your ID, please. Look, if you gave me a fake ID sure. and the person that had the person's ID you gave me has a warrant, that is retarded. That's what you gave me. Female, yeah. I mean, it looks like you. Why did I get negative points for... Unless I clicked the wrong thing. Let me just double check. Open warrant. Yeah, that's what you have is an open warrant. I mean, I could try to charge you for a fake ID, but I'm not going to do that. 
I need to do a search on you to see if you're carrying anything illegal. In that case, if it's a unlawful arrest, according to the game, this might be an unlawful search. I might lose more points. I sure did. <laughs> I won't call a transport. I need some backup here. This is a lawful Take a arrest of my eyes. This game can Copy stick that. it. Nearest available unit will be sent to your current location. All right, let's talk to this guy. Let's keep going. Can you tell me what you saw? Sure, officer. Uh, I saw someone fleeing in that direction. All right, let's get his ID. This will be the last Let gentleman we talk ID. to about this, thankfully. I'm tired of talking to people, man. Here. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> Here. Take it. God, that's so hilarious. Please cooperate and come with me to the police van. All right. I have no choice. All right, you're free to go. Enjoy your day. Very good. All right, that should be it. Thank God. That is a lot of people to talk to. I do not have the patience for that. That is too many people. And lo I'll just love all these random people just walking through my crime scene. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get our camera out and let's get this thing buttoned up because the more people that walk in here, the more contaminations I'm going to have. One there. Got one there. See what else we got. Is that it? That might be it. Go ahead and take the pictures of these and make sure this is in fact everything. Wait, is this glitching on me? Picture. 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 I have one more. Which should be this cache, right? Why isn't it giving me like a little magnifying glass? Take a picture of it. It's got the number on it, on the little tag there, so... Let me remove the evidence marker. Okay, so there it is. Highlights this cache. Let's go ahead and maybe put it down there. Okay, no, it, the marker didn't have a number on it. Put it there. Okay, let's get the camera back out. Being... There it goes. It's I've being finicky as crap today, to man. With my other duties. That is crazy how finicky this thing's been. All right. Red shirt, black suit. This looks like the lady. That's not the one in suspect. Uh, I beg to differ. She looks very much so like it. But I'll take your word on it and we'll keep looking. I kind of want... Oh. Wait a minute, I see somebody walking down the street with a... That needs to there be she is. is I'm not sure I'll be able to get there in time. We'll decline that. This lady's actually walking this way, so I'm going to keep letting her walk over here. Um, maybe uh, we can stop her right here. Hopefully she won't run. Close to your current location. Keep your eyes open, officer. Yep, yep, I'm looking right at her. Thank you very much. I'm going to run at her and tackle her, especially if she runs. If not, I'm just going to detain her. How you doing, lady? You are being detained because you match a description. <laughs> I stopped you because you match a description. Okay. All right, let's see your ID. Your ID, please. Here you go, officer. Make sure you match who we're looking for, and she is presumed armed, so I'm going to frisk her. But she has the open warrant, so we're just going to go ahead and arrest her and then search her. All right, let's go ahead and charge her for the open warrant. And for the robbery. You're under arrest. So many citations. I didn't know that all those actions were illegal. That's such a stupid comment to add well in the done, game. <laughs> I didn't know it was illegal to rob somebody. Their stolen property tomorrow at the station. Perfect. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and search her. I need to do a search on you to see if you're carrying anything illegal. See if we can find the stolen goods or any type of weapons or anything. Because then she was armed. Which we would always presume that anyway. Oh yeah, handgun, switchblade, and the stolen bag. Lovely. More to tack on here, so let's go ahead and charge her for those two. You've committed several crimes. You're being arrested. I want to talk to my lawyer. You cannot prosecute me yourself. I think it gave me a negative point. Oh, dang it. She probably had a gun permit, didn't she? She did. That was on me. That's alright. That's on me. I'll take that negative five, because that was definitely my fault. So let's go ahead and we will I'm escorting you transport her car. ourselves here. So we got two folks. Got a witness that gave us a stolen ID and then the initial robber here. Mind your head. Good stuff. Well, we've had a quite the amount of crime scenes here. All right. 
go ahead and try and get out of this traffic because I seem to be trapped here. So let's get out of here. Let's head back to the precinct and uh, we'll go from there. It's time to take you to the police cell. All right, let's go ahead and get our little robber in here. Get her in the jail and we'll come back out here for this lady that was just so stinky to us and gave us freaking stolen ID. But it has been a pretty, pretty interesting okay. episode. We've had a, I would say a little bit of everything, but it hasn't been a little bit of everything. We've had mostly crime scenes, which I don't think I've had more than two crime scenes in one episode, let alone three or four like we've had. So, pretty interesting. City's gone nuts it's time today. To take you to the police cell. I would say a high crime area, but it's a high crime city because we've been all over the area today, all over the state. Good stuff. All right, well, this lady's taking a dump. We're going to go and put Please this lady in home. here, get these handcuffs off of her. That way the jail personnel can come and uh, do everything they got to do, get her processed and everything. But that is going to do it for today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop us a like down below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss any more police simulator videos to come in the future. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.